Hello, I'm Debbie with DebsJewelryShop.com and Dazzling Divas. And today I wanted to show you some of the ways that I display my jewelry when I do events and parties. This will just give you a kind of idea of the type of different displays that are out there and let you go in your own creative direction. I wanted to start off with how I display my hair clips. This is a turning rat display that I love. I love it because you can hold a bunch of different hair clips and it's easy to transport. And it has a cute little sign holder at the top. The one bad thing about it is it doesn't showcase your hair clips very well. The customer would have to go through them like that in order to see them. So it's harder to see them that way. And also, if they like the one, the hair clip at the very back, it's going to be harder for them to get it out um, to purchase it. Um, but other than that, I really like that. I like the um, different colors and how colorful it is. It makes a really great display in addition to your display. Next, um, I want to show you the rings. Uh, this is the ring display that is available in the paparazzi back office. It holds a bunch of rings. There's little slots and you can hold tons of rings in there. Um, the downfall of this one is if you have a lot of rings, which I do, you can see how they're kind of smushed in there and crammed. Um, it is, I think it's a little bit better for sales if they have a little bit of room, like over here. Um, that way each ring can have its own beauty. Um, and then another downfall about this one is I've heard a lot from a lot of consultants that people will pick and try on the rings and then um, these stretchy bands are so hard to get back into the slots that they'll just end up with a big pile of loose rings on the top like that. And so that's another downfall of this one. Um, I do believe there are uh, uh, stretchy rubber band um, ring holders available um, but I if that's worrying you you can just use the regular cases that um, the rings do come in like that and they're easy to get in and out so those are the rings um, next here's uh, some options to uh, display your bracelets um, the cuffs are kind of hard to display on pegboards or other um, displays like that. So what I like to do is I like to get out a cute decorative plate um, that I got at Target, I think. And you just put the cuffs on there. And they're, it's really cute, really cute display to have. Or you can get this bracelet bar right here that you can slide the bracelets on and off. And also the cuffs can come on and off. Anyways, <laughs> you get the idea. Um, the one bad thing about the bracelet bar is, yeah, it is kind of hard to get those bracelets off. Um, especially if you want this pink one, then you'd have to go, oh, and there you go. You know, so it's, so this is um, just another way to showcase your bracelets. Um, next is the Starlet Shimmer items. I love Starlet Shimmer items because they're so cute and so lightweight. Um, I found this cute little spinner rack on Amazon um, that just fits all of my um, Starlet Shimmer earrings and bracelets perfectly on and it just spins around like that and it's cute and fun. Um, now I want to go over ways to display headbands. Headbands um, are kind of, um, there's several different ways you can display them. This wire display I, I got from the back office of Paparazzi and um, it's great because it's lightweight and you can transport it. Um, the downfall is, is you can't hold very many headbands on it and also when customers take them on and off, since it is a wire mesh, sometimes um, the silk on this gets frayed and not the best looking so um, that's one downfall of this one 
or if you want to go the cheaper route and you're creative um, this is an empty oatmeal container that I just mod podged um, some cute wrapping paper on and then put added ribbon to the top like that and then you can put your headbands on it like that and it can be displayed like that or laying down like that. The best way that I really like to display headbands is this big, this big old headband display. This is made from um, black PVC pipe that's just the right fit for these headbands. And then I got some black felt and hot glue gunned the black felt onto the pipe so that they wouldn't um, slip around when I moved them. Um, and then uh, there's, these are just wood, decorative wood that I got and I um, decorated them with, again, wrapping paper with Mod Podge and the ribbon. Um, the downfall of this one is it's really heavy and it's kind of awkward to carry around. But I love how many headbands I can display on them. And um, so yeah, I love that one. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the major pegboard displays that we have. Now I'm gonna go over different ways to display earrings, bracelets, and your necklaces. Uh, first, I wanted to cover something I forgot, sorry. Um, I wanted to talk about how to display hippie headbands. These are a challenge to display because they can't, they don't really do well just hanging on a peg or um, on the table. Um, so I, I found a cute little basket um, that I just throw them in and people love going through them and they're easy to put back into the basket. But the best way to sell a hippie headband, I think, is to wear it. Um, that way people wear it in a more attractive manner than I am right now. But people will see it and they'll want it too and because you'll look so cute in it. And like I said, in a more attractive manner than I just did. All right, now we're going to move on to ways to um, display the rest of your jewelry. Um, I'm going to show you the cheapest way that I found is to go to the local dollar store and buy um, the foam board. It's with all the poster boards and stuff. You can see it's a little bit thicker and this is all foam, making it very light and easy to transport. You will need something for it to rest on. So I, ha I have a little plate holder right there. Um, that you can rest it on. And then I just added scrapbook paper to the side with a cute five dollars just to jazz it up a little bit. And um, then I took some self sticky hooks that I got at Target or Walmart, wherever. And you just stick the, those on at whatever um, increment that you want. And try to get them straight. The more um, straight and level they are, the more professional they'll look. Um, but as you can see with this one, it's, it's hard to fit a lot of pieces on it. So that's one downfall. Um, there's also a bigger board that I made an example of. This fits a whole lot more than the smaller ones, obviously. Um, but again, if once you put those sticky hooks on, they're there, so you, you can't really move them around or change them. Um, some of the necklaces are smothered together close. I wanted to try to fit as much as possible on this. So things might be a little close, a little um, claustrophobic, um, but that's okay. Um, another downfall is if one of the little hooks fell off, like one did right here, then you have an empty dead space. So you might want to take extra hooks if you, um, you decide to use this kind of board. Um, now I'm going to uh, move over to an, a popular way to store your jewelry, and that is what I call the bookcase display. This is um, it's called the bookcase display because it opens and closes like a book. How nifty is that? 
So my lovely husband um, made this one for me and he painted it bright pink. Um, we'll show you what we changed it up in, in a little bit. We changed up the color because it was just too intense. But this one is really good because your jewelry stays displayed the way um, that it displays in your shows. So if you want to have people over at your house, you can just open up your, your cases and voila, there they are. And so, um, and you use the pegboard with these um, hooks that you can find in the back office. They just go in like this. I also found these on Amazon. These are awesome. They're little cute little baskets made for pegboards and they just fit in there like that. And you'll see in a little bit that I put some bracelets in there. Um, so I'll show you the, those in a little bit. Um, so when you close them to uh, store your jewelry or transport them, I like to take the fabric, uh, not the fabric, the foam that comes with your jewelry orders from Paparazzi and just place that on top. It might take two or three to put on there. And this makes um, so that the necklaces and earrings don't fall off of the hooks as you transport them. So you just simply do that and you close it up. And we have a lock here so it stays shut. And you can also add a handle at the top if you would like. We did not though, so that's just something you can do if you want. And the trick to keeping these pegs from falling off because they can easily fall off like that is to get um, some rubber bands and just wrap the rubber bands around the little pegs like that. And that will make it so they can't fall off. Now it is a pain to do that. That's one of the downfalls. Another downfall is that these are heavy um, to transport around. They take up a lot of room, a lot of table room, if you're just gonna display one case at a time. Um, if we move over here, here are some other bookcase displays. These are different. After that was our first one that my husband made and he, he did some alterations to the next ones and so he made them a little bit thicker and sturdier. And we also painted the pegboard gray, which I think is the perfect color um, for a background so that your jewelry really pops. The colors really pop with this gray background. Um, and so here, since they are sturdier and thicker, I was able to stack one on top of the other. And um, this is awesome for those um, parties where the host doesn't have a lot of table space or counter space. You can take up less room that way. Um, and you can fit a lot of jewelry on there, necklaces and earrings. And I really suggest that you color coordinate everything put all the golds together, all the silver together, the multicolors together, just color group them. Um, that way if someone says, oh, I need a yellow accessory, they know right where to go for those yellow accessories. Um, and now let me show you um, probably the most popular displays is called the clothes rack display. This is the displays that I usually end up using um, because they fold down and these boards come off because um, they're um, velcroed on. These ones I have up in my paparazzi room and I just love them. Um, I, I painted them, spray painted them gray again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I spray painted them gray. Actually my husband did and I put the cute pink and black zebra tape around the edges just to give it a little bit of flare and jazz it up. Um, but anyways, as you can see, you can fit a lot more jewelry on these and it, I think it's the most professional looking displays there are that you can make at home. Um, another secret that I like to share is if you have more than one um, of the same piece, go ahead and they can share the same peg. A lot of times if you have pieces and you just put a bunch on one peg, 
like the hair clips earlier, they get lost. And so if you only have one of each item, make sure they each have their own hook. If you have more than one of the same item, you can go ahead and share hooks. Um, and so I like another suggestion is since these are two boards, you want to make sure that the necklaces don't fall too much below this board because if they do, for instance, like that, if they go like that, when you transport them, they're gonna get tangled up or hooked on something and they could break. So make sure that there is a good break where there's a different board. So I have the whites up on this one. This one, you can put a different color on, but again, color coordinate. Only have one color per, per board. That's my suggestion. Here's the little pegboard basket that I was talking about earlier. Again, this is where I put the hard to display um, items, such as the bracelets and cuffs and stuff like that. So I love those. And then here's my purple display. I have a bunch of purple, so I tried to make them all in a line so they're cute and stuff and again um, two of the same items and that is about it um, I hope you found this informative and comical because <laughs> I mess up a lot but that's okay hey uh, so if you want any more information about these displays um, I have instructions on my website and my website is devsjewelryshop.com and I am Debbie Parkin, and I am glad that you watched this video. Thanks a lot.